Yo, yo. Taking a little bit of time away from the electronics on the rig and going through a couple concepts of a surge actuator for the 3 DOF, adding the fourth DOF of acceleration and braking surge. And I think this is what I've settled up on. Got a little 3D printed holder for the ball which mounts on the bottom of all my actuators and then that little guy would be attached to this bearing block on a 20 uh, I think this is a 20 millimeter rail and so that way this is like a trackball for a PC mouse freedom in all directions so when the actuator is rolling left and right there's no restriction but then we would also have the surge up and down driven by this ball screw assembly and there'll be some type of a runner connector element from this nut block back to the bearing block and as this travels along the screw by being turned by the servo through this coupler uh, that would pull along the bearing block which creates the surge effect and because my rig's got only one actuator in the front and two in the rear this will be the only drive mechanism centered down center line of the rig and the back two will follow along as a, a leashed dog with uh, an identical set of little rails and then more holders in the back so they're not powered but everything would be at the same height to slide and I think that's a very unique way of getting things compact um, I'm trying to build this as compact and tidy as possible I see a lot of rigs made out of 80 20 rail and they just look huge and bulky and a monstrous mass of weight that all needs to be thrown around by the servos so all that weight uh, restricts the fidelity that you would feel in the motion system unless you have extremely large servos which these are 750 watt I'm using the 80 style servos uh, I know a lot of the Thanos guys go with the 90 I feel like the 80 because the rotational mass of the servo is slightly less than the 90 which is a bigger motor the acceleration that you get out of the servo is it's a little crisper but then I thought about this idea well I want compact let's go ahead and take this whole bearing assembly and slide it over yeah all right oh dear um, and now that's like that this whole thing becomes shorter So we've cut down about a foot of length and now I could still do that same concept of tying the moving piece that will pull the bearing block forward and back for the surge, uh, but do it over a shorter distance and then create a, a uh, bearing block for the actuator ball that would sit again on the bearing block but there'll be a uh, a hole like a tunnel for the ball screw that way it can spin freely still take the force from the actuator from above all that goes directly into the linear rail instead of pressing on the ball screw but we still have the travel allowed by that ball screw in relation to the bearing block all in a shorter shorter space from three down to two feet I've not seen one designed that way so I'm gonna give it a damn go wish me luck later